Good morning. Last night was a great time. I think we're both struggling a little bit this morning. It was a great time. It was a great time. Would recommend. Place is quirky but tasty AF. What was so. it called again? Alpine, Alpine Inn. Inn. Yes. So, yeah, anyways, we are recovering and we're going to go grab breakfast now. So, we're going to this place called Harriet and Oak. It's a cafe in Rapid City, I want to say. And it looks tasty AF and I really need some carbs. So, yeah, stay tuned. But our plan for today is the Badlands. And we're going to figure out what's so bad about the Badlands. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyways, adios. Okay, so we are at Harriet and Oak Coffee House and we learned something while we were trying to find parking is that Rapid City is apparently the city of presidents. I would have never guessed. Um, we got really confused because, sorry, I thought my pumpkin spice latte was ready. It is not. Um, but apparently there's just all these statues on the corners and we were trying to figure out what the deal was, man. And so we had to Google it. <laughs> we were trying to find parking. I was like, is that Obama? And it was Obama. So they have everyone uh, as a, you know, statue except Trump. And I don't know if it's just not done yet or what the deal is, but yeah. So something you might be interested in, there is, you can take a little walking tour around, uh, I think it's like downtown Rapid City is where we're in right now. And you can see all the president statues. Either way, we are waiting for our food to arrive. This is a really cute little coffee house and I would recommend. It is kind of the opposite direction of where we're going today, but it looks really good. So that's where we're at. Yep, sorry. <laughs> He's playing again. He's playing Among Us. Is that what it is? We're having a lot of fun with that. Anyways. So this is a breakfast sandwich with Gouda, bacon, and I think egg. I don't really remember, but it looks really tasty. And then Mike got a pasty. Um, that's something we've seen on the menu a couple times throughout this town. I know it because it's really big in northern Michigan, but maybe it's also a South Dakota thing. I don't know. Texans and South Dakota, it's crazy, y'all. It's crazy, y'all. I'm not even from Texas, but it's crazy, y'all. <laughs> also, this road's kind of crazy, y'all. What is going on here? You can see the topography change, like, flat, 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 crazy cliff. Quick, crazy mountain, crazy mountain. It's crazy. Like I'm, I wonder to myself, like, this topography went zero to a hundred real quick. Just like me. <laughs> slide area. Do you want to go on the slide bit? Not that kind of slide. So something interesting, this is the national park. Yesterday at the state park, like we can go into visitor centers and like there wasn't any regulations but today the visitor center had like a 15 person limit and there was a line so we said forget that nonsense we're not doing that so state don't care about covid feds kind of do is that what you're saying maybe because national park federal state park state yeah so something but like that federal government cares states they don't care also, while we got out to the gift shop, some guy yelled at us and said, yeah, glad to see other people not wearing masks. About two seconds before we put ours on. So 
So the way we entered Nash or Badlands National Park was we kind of entered in like the middle of the loop road. That's not a loop, but it's kind of a loop. Um, so we went to the visitor center first and now we're at the door and the door has a boardwalk path that says that leads to a break in the canyon wall. So we're gonna go check this out. We'll see how good the audio picks up, but um, spoiler alert. This is what the Badlands looks like. So I don't know what I said earlier, but this is actually the door trail and the other one was the window trail. Um, but we found the signs. And this trail actually will extend beyond a boardwalk. And beyond the boardwalk, it's considered an a strenuous trail. But we're not going to do that today, because we're just here to have funsies. This is where 127 hours took place. Jesus Christ. JK. But tell me that does not look like the yeah. rock, the crevice from 127 hours. He's scarred. That's insane. <laughs> you just said the motto of the day that this is insane. And he got really annoyed at me because I thought about climbing up this. But I'm not going to do it. Because I want to live. And death is like... Right around the corner. But the motto of the day is... This is insane. He's nervous. People on the same precipice that Mike was terrified of letting me go on. It's fine. I'm not bitter. They're clearly alive and not dead. But he did do a uh, trip advisor search to see how many people get injured here every year. So, you know, be careful, guys. But, yeah, this is insane. So I'm sure the quality of this is going to be pretty awful. But there's four bighorn sheep just laying on a mound. And there's a fifth one kind of in the field to the left. But yeah, so they actually reintroduced bighorn sheep to this area in 1996, and they live in the Badlands. And we did also learn that the Badlands were translated from French settlers uh, who thought this was a very hard land to travel by, and thus the Badlands. They, they literally are called Badlands to travel across in French. Mm -hmm. And so we just call oui, them oui. Badlands. We oui, oui. oui. Perfect. Got it. We're French. I hope this wasn't culturally insensitive to oh, anyone. Okay. That's right. Mike's trying to convince me to climb up a mountain after he wouldn't let me climb on that super dangerous uh, rock earlier. This is my life. There's our car. We're out of breath. We climbed up here. <laughs> he wants to stop. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna stop. I want to try to at least get to that next point. But he might not. We'll see. This might give it some perspective. We got all the way up there. Nature. So I think those are pigeons. And I think their home is that hole. But they're just, you know, playing or doing pigeon things. messing with each other. <laughs> kind of like my brothers and I used to push each other off of things when we were younger. Yeah, harass him. <laughs> yeah, mess with each other. Push him off the cliff. <laughs> They're mean to each other. Wow. My I was going to say, like, this, this is actually kind of a Intense. Yeah. So somewhere to our right is a, what is it, a bighorn sheep? Mm -hmm. I think it was a lady. Yep, there he is. I'm going to try to zoom in, or there she is. It's a lady. There she is. She's just like munching. Nature. 
So as we're driving, there's yet another big horn. This one's got big horns. Holy smokes. Is that why they call it a big horn? Look at those horns. So he's like, what, 20 feet away from us? Nature. Hi, big boy. So we're on something called the Fossil Trail, and this is at the other end of the Badlands National Park. And it tells the story of how seven different uh, animals from prehistoric times met their fate, whether it was they went extinct or they evolved and moved on. <sighs> what a beautiful, insane place. Yeah, I wanted to walk there, but Mike got really nervous and angry that I had such a thought, how I could even dare to think of such a thought. Not even joking, two months ago, I forgot to show you the article, Instagram, er, girl, sat on ledge just like that, some mountain somewhere, ledge broke, she dead. I'm sorry, I don't want to be Instagram. So it was kind of funny. I heard this weird sound. I'm like, that sounds an awful lot like prairie dogs. And I look outside the window and I'm like, it's prairie dogs. So there's a little prairie dogs town, prairie dogs, prairie dog towns in the uh, Badlands. And this is a super fun sign that how prairie dogs carry a form of the black plague. So you should probably not go near them. So this is as close as we're gonna get, but maybe I can get some better footage of them today. Oh, there's some playing over there. Oh, it's kind of stinky over here too. So a note about the uh, air conditions today. At the time of filming this, this is September 15th, or 15th, 2020. Uh, there's fires going on in California, in Oregon, in Washington, question mark. And where there's not fires, there is massive amounts of smoke. I've heard people from Seattle who came here to escape the smoke saying that it's basically unlivable there right now. And we read on a sign at one of the other out overlooks is that when the winds are right, all the way in South Dakota, you can get smoke from fires in Arizona and Southern California. So I think this is what we're seeing today. And when I first woke up this morning, my weather app on my phone said smoke instead of fog. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it all the way here in South Dakota at the Badlands. They can get smoke from California. So once upon a time, millions and millions of years ago, this actually all used to be underwater. And then when the water started receding, uh, jungle actually grew here. So the yellow is a bunch of buried things like ammonites, which they remind me very much of uh, nautiluses, but they're actually related to squids and octopus. And then the red soil above the yellow soil is actually from the jungle that was growing uh, from all the soil that got put down by trees and plants and various whatnot. So we are basically at the other entrance to uh, the Badlands. There is an optional road that can take you to a prairie dog town, which I think we're gonna at least check out and see if we can get some better footage of prairie dogs. And also because I love prairie dogs. But this might be the last footage of the Badlands. I know this video will probably mostly just be footage of the Badlands, but thank you for bearing with me because so, uh, we're at the, uh, prairie dog town, and the prairie dogs here, as opposed to anywhere other, or in any other part of the Badlands, or even in Custer State Park, are very, very close. There's actually some people feeding them, but we already had a nice chat about the plague. So we're just going to admire from afar. So we've already seen some buffalo on this trip, but... This guy is like, I don't know, how far is that? Less than 100 yards. Yeah. Oh, 100 yards. No way. This guy is like 25 yards from us. Yeah. Um, he is so close. It's like scary. And he's got some big horns. And like then there's like people right over there that just don't seem to care. People who are also feeding the prairie dogs. And I'm wondering if he's trying to steal prairie dog food. I'm wondering if he's learned that 
food shows up here. Like, obviously he's surrounded by food, but there might be tasties over here. And I think that's what he's doing. God, like, I mean, like, just look at him. He's, like, huge. This guy's, I mean, I don't know. Is he a full size? Is he full size? I'd say he's full size. He looks full size to me. Oh, my God. He's getting closer. Get out. No way. Oh, my goodness. He is beautiful, but my goodness, is he scary. Happy, happy buffalo, please don't kill us. Like, are those people not scared at all? I think they're stupid. I mean, he's like really close to them. And he's acting like abnormally. So for reference, uh, we set up, ended up back in this same part of town for dinner tonight. Uh, we are grabbing some takeout from this place called the Independent Ale House that I really want to try because they had something called a uh, mashed potato pizza, and that's that's the kind of life I like to lead. So anyway, presidents. We can see some president statues. Oh look, there's there's one. Supposed to be. Your destination is on the right. Oh, president. That's Bill president. Clinton. That was Bill Clinton. So we really wanted to enjoy one last evening out on this porch before we had to start heading back to Texas tomorrow. So that's why we got takeout. It is still smoky over here and it's actually kind of cold um, and cold from like, you know, a baby Texan's perspective of I've been used to 110 degrees all summer. I don't even know how good the uh, audio is going to work on this. I know our fireplace is struggling a little bit. Mike got something called the Bernardo Veggie Pizza from the Independent Ale House. What's the verdict? There's not a son of a 
pepperoni on it. Well, they done goofed. Hopefully they did not done goof on mine. Or maybe I done goofed. I thought there was a kind of pepperoni. Oh, you thought so? Okay, well, we'll see. And then I have, so day one, we were like trying to figure out where we wanted to eat the first night we were here. And we thought this was a little heavy for maybe the first night. But this is supposed to be a mashed potato pizza and that's sour cream. So we're going to taste dish. So I was trying to get the camera to focus on the mashed potato that's in between the bread and the cheese, but that's basically impossible. This is literally the best idea for pizza I've ever heard of. This is so good. Like, I think I'm going to have to try to make a mashed potato pizza when I get home.